All right, now we've got lip balms. Um, this is like my lip balm, lip scrub, lip care drawer. Um, I'm 100% keeping all of my Jeffree Star lip scrubs, all of my Lush lip scrubs, my Glam Glow lip scrub and lip balm duo. I am going to get rid of this little lip balm. It was really cute, but and it was $10. Why did I spend $10 on this? Um, but I'm never going to use this again, so I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that. And then I'm also going to get rid of the little fidget spinner lip gloss thing because just because. <laughs> I'm going to keep my Maybelline lip gloss palette. I am going to get rid of this instant lip plumper. I smelled this the other day and it does not smell the same, so I am going to declutter that product. Um, I guess I'll start back here. Here's a couple of lip balms that I can let go of. These are by the brand Simply Sweet, and these were from TJ Maxx, and I just don't use these. I have other lip balms that I like to use a lot more than these, so I'm going to get rid of those too. Um, back here, I think I'm going to keep the rest of the stuff that's here. Um, yeah, I've just got like my Sol de Janeiro lip balm, which I absolutely love this. I've got a little mini sugar lip balm, a Bare Minerals, a Lush lip balm, and a um, Bite Beauty Agave lip mask. Um, here I've got a couple of Bare Minerals lip tints that I'm keeping. My two YSL um, tint and oils that I'm keeping. And this little guy from Anthropology. This is the... Tinty's Lip Butter in the shade Coral. Um, here I've got my Carmex, which I'm going to keep. I've got a couple of these like Bite Beauty lip masks that I'm going to keep. Um, I've got my Rosebud Salve from Smith's. I really like this stuff. I've used a nice little dip of that. And then I'm going to keep the rest of these. I've got a couple of Lush ones. I've got the Brazil. Buttered Brazil's Whip Stick Lip Balm. I've got the Latte Lip Tint. And I've got this one, which is a cute little name. Um, this is the Black Cherry Papaya Lip Balm. So, keeping that, keeping that. So, there's that drawer. <laughs> I have this drawer pretty consolidated already. Okay, now this drawer is a freaking mess, as you can see. Um... <laughs> I have a little bit of an organization system going on in here, but you can't tell. Um, so yeah, let's just get right on into it. Um, this palette over here by Pixie, I am definitely keeping. This is the It's Judy Time lip palette, and I love this. Um, I just got that from TJ Maxx recently. Um, okay, I'm going to start with this little section over here. This should be like pretty much good. I've got all of my Bite Beauty lip glosses back here and I'm gonna keep all of those. I'm gonna keep my Essence, they call these liquid lipsticks, but they are basically lip glosses. I'll swatch one for you. Um, they're just like super pigmented lip glosses, but they do not dry down, so that's why I call them lip glosses. I love those. I feel like these might have been discontinued though. Um, I've got a bunch of little mini lipsticks, and I know some of these ones on top are ones that I wanted to get rid of, but these ones were all good, so I'm not going to go through those. Um, if you want me to go through those, let me know in the comments. I can definitely do that. I am thinking about doing a couple collection videos, so like a lip product collection, blush collection, highlight collection, if you guys are interested, um, or I could just do a whole makeup collection video. Just let me know in the comments below. Um, same with these little pencil things. These ones should all be, like, ones that I like and want to keep. I know a lot of the products on top of here need to go, though. So, let's go ahead and start with my Marc Jacobs lip glosses. These are obviously very nice lip glosses, but they definitely don't smell the same anymore. Um, I have the shades Milkshake and Shooting Stars. So, I'm going to toss both of those. Then I've got this Milani lip gloss in the shade Pink Lady, and this also is really old and needs to go. Um, this melted chocolate lipstick is just not like 
my color. Um, I got really excited when I saw this at TJ Maxx or Marshalls because, you know, it's Too Faced, but honestly, I am never gonna wear that color. Like, no, no, no. So, that's gotta go. This e.l.f. matte lip color is really old, so I am going to let this go, even though it's beautiful. I love the formula of these matte lip colors. I'm keeping the one in T Rose because it's great. Um, this Maybelline lipstick in the shade Pearly Pink I'm getting rid of because it's basically just a frost. Um, and I'm never going to wear that. And it's really old. Uh, this Meat Matte Hues by the Balm Liquid Lipstick is just like old and chunky and dried out. It's a really pretty color, but it just needs to be thrown away. This is a lip gloss that I'm going to get rid of by Alme. This is in the shade Lilac Love. And I love this lip gloss. It's like right there. Um but it does not smell the same anymore, so that needs to go in the trash. That's the problem with having too many lip products, like, they all go bad. Um, what else do I have here? This Alabama lip gloss I am going to get rid of once again. It was special to me at one point, but not anymore, um, and it literally looks like nothing. The only reason I had it was because it was Alabama, so gonna get rid of that. Um, this is a mini lipstick from Sephora and this is a really pretty color. It's like a nice sheer um, pink shade but I'm never gonna use it so I'm gonna get rid of that. This Maybelline lip gloss. This is the Shine Shot. Um, this is, I literally have not had this for very long, but every time that I, like, squeeze something out of it, it literally is just, like, liquid, and it's, like, runny, and so I just think that I got maybe a bad one, or maybe that's just how this product is, but I need to get rid of it. Okay, here's, um, a couple more of these mini lipsticks that I think I wanted to get rid of. These are from Bare Minerals. This one is in the shade Queen. That is just not a shade that I'm going to wear. Um, and then this one is in the shade... Ooh, that one's pretty! Heaven? That one's pretty. I'm going to keep that one. Dang. I love that. This is a CoverGirl lipstick in the shade Yummy Pink. And... Mm, it's pretty, but I feel like it's a little bit too cool toned for me. So I'm going to get rid of that one. Um, this Jordana lipstick. This is a modern matte lipstick in the shade Matte Classy. And this is just really old, so I feel like I need to get rid of it. But it is really pretty, and I did love this formula. Okay, um, I feel like the rest of this, see now doesn't it look like a million times more organized? These are my liquid lipsticks, these are my lip glosses, these are my lipsticks, and then these are lip glosses that I have like a lot of mini lipsticks and like lip pencil things. Maybe I can get rid of this. This is the Tarte Lip Surgeons. That's actually like really pretty. But am I going to wear it? No, I'm going to get rid of this. Um, wasn't expecting that. Um, is there anything else? Love, 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 love. I think I love all of those lipsticks. Love. Hmm. I feel like this, this is by the brand Nude Sticks. Is this the one? That's like so cool toned, um, but that's not, was that the one I was thinking of? Hmm. Maybe. And this Clinique lip balm. I'm gonna get rid of this Clinique lip balm in the shade Black Honey. Um, I just don't use that. This, I think I wanna keep that for now. Um, 
This is by Benefit. It's one of those They're Real lip products, but honestly, I don't feel like I'm going to use that shade, so I am going to declutter that one as well. Anything else in here? This is by the Illuminate, what is it called? Illuminate by Ashley Tisdale. Um, I feel like I can get rid of that lip gloss, <laughs> so I am going to get rid of that one. And I think that that's it from this drawer that I want to get rid of right now. If you guys want to see a lip swatch, a lipstick swatch video, let me know in the comments. I can definitely do that for you guys. I just need to, you guys to let me know if that is something that you are interested in because if no one's going to watch it, I don't want to film it. But anyways, um, yeah, uh, let's take a look at the lip products that I'm getting rid of. So I've got all of these plus these and these from the previous drawer. So these are all of the lip products that I'm gonna get rid of. And also I did just do a declutter and I gave a bunch of makeup to this girl, um, but I didn't film that. So honestly, I'm like surprised that I'm getting rid of this much stuff. Um, okay, now we're gonna move on. Okay, we've got two more drawers in this Alex and I drawer. Um, this one is kind of a weird mix of things, so let's just go ahead and get right on into it. So, first of all, I've got my backup beauty sponges in here, so I'm definitely keeping these. Like, why wouldn't I? I've got this jumbo pack from Real Techniques. I've also got this one that I'm actually going to add to this jumbo pack box because why not? I've got this Real Techniques sponge that I just recently got. This one that I also just recently got. These are like backups. I've got my Foam Ink um, Ardell 811 eyelashes. I love these so much. Definitely keeping those. Um, I've got mascaras here. These two are open and done, so I'm going to get rid of both of those. Um, I've got a like daily makeup brush cleaner that I'm going to keep. Um, I need to go through these, which I'll do in a second. Um, I'm going to keep these Lily Lashes Miami that I found at Marshalls for $5.99, which is an awesome deal. Um, I've got this Bare Minerals brush in here, but I don't ever use this, so I think that I'm going to declutter that. I'll put these back right there. This e.l.f. brush I'm keeping, this brush um, from Wet n Wild I'm keeping, this little eyeshadow curler thing I'm going to get rid of. This is like a little extra container that I've been keeping from e.l.f. It was a cream eyeliner, but I never have needed this, so I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that. This is some heavy duty strength um, lash adhesive, so I'm going to keep that. I have an eyelash curler that I'll keep. This hair chalk thing I'm going to get rid of. This extra sharpener I'm going to keep back here with some extra little makeup sponges and like a mini beauty blender. And then I've got some little false eyelash singles back here that I'm going to keep. And one other pair of false lashes. Um, and I'm actually... I'm going to get rid of these false lashes because I'm not going to wear those. I like my Ardell ones. Um, and then this is a solid pro beauty blender cleanser that I'm going to keep. And I've just got a little thing of rhinestones right here. So um, I can put my beauty sponge back right there. I'll stick this one back there. And then um, I'm going to put my beauty sponge big container back on top of here when I'm done because I don't reach for new mascaras all of the time. I do have like this, which I'm going to move to the next drawer actually. Um, 
and I have these two products that I need to add to this drawer. So let's get started. Um, this bronzer I am going to get rid of from Bourjois. It just has hard pan on it. It's old. I need to get rid of it. Um, this is from Wet n Wild. I love this, but I have the native thing from Urban Decay, and this is basically an exact dupe, and this was limited edition. I loved the crap out of this, but I'm going to pass this along to someone that will be able to use it more often than I can. Um, I'm keeping my Too Faced Soulmate Blush and Bronzer Duo things. This is an e.l.f. Um, bronzed violet water like bronzer thingy that I'm gonna keep because I haven't tried that yet. This Stila one I'm gonna get rid of because again I just don't use it. It's like something you have to crank and like product dispenses but I never use it so I'm gonna get rid of that. I'm gonna keep my NYC um, Smooth Skin Sunny Bronzer. Um, this is like uh, an old favorite and they don't make this bronzer or they don't sell this bronzer in the US anymore I heard and then I have my Too Faced Pink Leopard bronzer, which I'm also keeping And I'm actually going to stick the two um, Ashley Tisdale ones in there as well Okay um, I've got some little guys over here. This Laura Mercier bronze number three is absolutely stunning. I'm not sure how well you can see that actually, but I love this bronzer so much. I'm keeping that. This pixie one, I'm going to get rid of. I really liked this for a long time, but it's just like, I don't know. I feel like it doesn't work for me anymore for some reason. So I'm going to declutter that. I'm going to keep this e.l.f. Let me swatch this first, actually. This is the e.l.f. Bronzer Highlight Duo in the shade Bronzed Glow. And this is one of those products that you have to, like, scrape the top off. Um, but that's actually stunning. So I am going to keep this e.l.f. bronzer for sure. And these are swatched on my hand right here, and I'm keeping both of these products. I'm just going to move them to the drawer below this one. Um, I'm going to keep this Tarte Park Avenue. Is this Park Avenue Princess? This is the Sculptor in the shade Park Avenue. No, it's just in the shade 1. <laughs> um, so I'm going to keep that. I'm also keeping these Bare Minerals, like Sheer Sun products, because I love those. I'm keeping both of my Too Faced Chocolate Soleil bronzers. I love this product so much. Um, sorry. I've got the Ciate bronzer in the shade. This is the Bamboo bronzer. And I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of this because I don't see myself using this product. I've got the NYX blush in the shade Taupe, which is super cool toned and I'm going to keep that and then I have two Laguna bronzers that I'm gonna keep and as far as like these go um this one can go this better than sex can go because this one is newer um this is the benefit roller lash this one can go um, I have a Their Real. This one can also go. Ooh, what else do I have? I have the Bare Minerals Lash Domination. This one can go. I did not like this mascara. I don't like wands that are like this. Like they twist around. I'm not sure if you can see what I'm talking about, but I do not like mascara wands that do that. Um, these other ones, I think that I can, whoops, ah, um, I love this mascara, the Velvet Noir from Marc Jacobs. This one is like the purple mascara, um, from the Nikki Tutorials collab, which I have never used, so I'm going to keep that, um, this Lorac mascara I can get rid of. I was not a fan of the shape of this brush. It's very weird. And this one from Belink, I 
I just don't want to bother using this, so I'm going to get rid of that. It says something about tubed mascara on here, and that does not interest me. So, yeah, I think that everything else in here I'm going to keep for now. Um, I did get rid of quite a few mascaras here. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven mascaras. Um, let me show you what I'm getting rid of. So we've got the six mascaras. We're getting rid of this big thing. Two, three bronzers, a couple of eyelashes and some knickknacks. This brush and this hair chalk. Oh, and this bronzer and something else that is underneath my leg. Oh, this one. Okay, great, awesome, cool. All of this stuff is leaving. Okay, we've got one more drawer. Okay, so this is the last drawer that I have of makeup in my, like, Alex 9 drawer unit. I still have makeup on top of my vanity, which you'll see later, but this is my last drawer of makeup. So let's get started. Um, I, as you can see, I did get rid of all of those Milani single blushes. If you've seen my other declutter videos, they were all like right in this section. There's probably like two, four, six, probably eight of them or so. So I did get rid of those. So now I just have these sitting in here. Um, so I kind of need to rearrange that, but I am definitely keeping all three of those L'Oreal what are these called? Infallible eyeshadows. I love those. Um, I have these two products to add to here. Oh, okay. I'm keeping all of my Urban Decay eyeshadows. My MAC, Stila. I have a Bare Minerals and an ELF. Actually, what is this? Oh, no, they're both ELF, actually. Um, I'm going to keep those. I'm going to keep my Wet n Wild eyeshadows. I'm going to keep these elf like bases back here, cream eyeshadows, a couple of color tattoos, a couple of color pop eyeshadows. Those can all stay. Um, here, I think I'm gonna move like some of these eyeshadows into this little container. So I've got the Laura Mercier, whatever this is, I use it for eyeshadow, not sure what it's meant for. I've got a NARS eyeshadow that is so beautiful. This is in the shade Himalaya. And then I have a Smashbox eyeshadow in the shade Golden Hour Eye. Oh, it's a duo, actually. I got this recently in a Sephora Play Box. So I'm going to keep those three and stick them in there. Um, This I have. This is the Corez eyeshadow quad. I never use this anymore. I got this a long time ago. So I'm going to get rid of that. This is by 17. This is the Instant Glow Shimmer Brick. 100% for sure keeping that. This is the Walking on Eggshells Wet n Wild Trio. I'm going to keep that. I've got a couple of eyeshadows from the Balm. These are the Shady Lady eyeshadows. This one is in the shade um, All About Alex, which is a really pretty moss color. And this one is in the shade Racy Casey, which is a beautiful burgundy shade. So I'm going to keep both of those. Um, but again, move them. Um, these, uh, Stila Trios, I never use these, um, so I think I'm gonna get rid of these, even though the packaging is just so beautiful. These aren't even my colors, so I'm gonna declutter both of those. Um, I'm gonna keep this puppy. This is the Blushed Nudes by Maybelline. I'm keeping, whoops. I'm keeping my three Too Faced, like, little palettes. This is, like, the Cute palette or something. Totally cute. Sugar Pop and the Cat Eyes. Um, those are all beautiful palettes. This is the Prism Eyeshadow Palette, and I'm going to be keeping that. Um, what else? I have a Wet n Wild palette back here in an Essence palette, and I'm keeping both of those. Um, back here, I've got stuff that I don't even know what's back here. Oh, okay, um, this I can get rid of. This is a hard candy eyeshadow palette. These are my MAC pigments, and I'm going to keep those. This is like an essence. It's supposed to be like a volumizing powder, but I'm going to get rid of that, like for your eyelashes. 
I've got a Wet n Wild pigment, and then I've got some Bare Minerals eyeshadows. Oh gosh, come on. I've got three Bare Minerals loose eyeshadows here. Um, there we go. And I've got one from the Balm, one from Mars, another Bare Minerals, a Too Faced glitter, and then this like Stila magnetic, magnificent metal something. So that can go back. These can stay here. Now I have like room here um, that I can use for these palettes, I guess, like that. Um, and then this thing has like, okay, this I have to get rid of. This is the Stila Magnificent Metals Liquid Eyeshadow in Diamond Dust. I love this so much, but it's completely gone, so I just have to get rid of it. Um, but I will be repurchasing this for sure. So I have these three glitter liners from the brand Santee that I'm going to keep. I got these from the Shop Miss A website. I'm also going to keep my Revlon Photo Ready Eye Art little duo. I'm keeping the Stila Magnificent Metals in the shade Gold Goddess. I love this so much. Those little, or these little liquid eyeshadows are incredible. I've just got a couple of sharpeners down there. This I can get rid of. This is supposed to be like a, a primer for your mascara, but I don't use that. So that can go. Duo Lash Glue I'm going to keep. I've got a couple of these little eyeliners from Sephora that I'm going to keep. This one's actually Lancome. This one is Sephora. I've got some eyeshadow primers. I can get rid of this Wet n Wild Fergie one. I'll keep the Too Faced. Um, I'll keep the e.l.f. Brow Gel. Here's another Fergie Wet n Wild Shimmer Primer that I can get rid of. Um... And then there's just some shadow sticks down there that I'm going to be keeping. So, there's that. Um, so from this drawer, I'll show you what I'm getting rid of. So we've got two um, eyeshadow palettes, two trios. That is empty. A couple of eyeshadow primers, a mascara primer, and this like mascara powder so that is everything from this drawer so now I'm going to move on to my vanity okay so moving on to products that are on top of my vanity I've got this container with Jeffree Star liquid lipsticks and none of these are going anywhere anytime soon these are my favorite lip products ever so of course I'm keeping them all I also have a few more Jeffree Star lip products. These are his lip ammos. And then I have my favorite. Actually, my favorite is probably Christmas Cookie. Um, but that was from the holiday collection. But I think he is making it permanent. But Mannequin is like my OG favorite liquid lipstick from him. So I'm keeping all of those. Then I've got this container um, which has... My Skin Frosts from Jeffree Star, which I'm definitely keeping, except for two of them are in my, with my highlight palettes and whatnot. Um, these are my Melted Liquid Lipsticks, and I'm going to keep those for now, and same with this Unicorn Tears Lipstick. Most of this stuff I'm going to keep. This is the Jeffree Star in um, Jouer Sweet Tooth like Lip Topper. A Becca palette back here so I'm gonna keep all of those okay so I've got my lip pencils and whatnot here eye pencils and whatnot here so um, I guess let's do the eye one first the products that I use every day are this clear brow gel from clean color I don't really like this that much but it's only a dollar so I keep that. I use the Bobbi Brown Smoky Eye Mascara and then I use the um, where is it? It's an eyebrow pencil from It Cosmetics. I don't see it right now, but I'll find it, I guess, because it's definitely in here somewhere. This is the Essence Eyebrow Pencil in the shade Taupe. Definitely keeping that. This Kat Von D eyeliner, um, this is old. This is in the shade Homey. I'm going to declutter that one. 
Um, this is a Neutrogena brown eyeliner that I'm going to keep. The Smashbox brown eyeliner I'm going to keep. This Sephora eyeliner. This is a blue one. It's waterproof. And it's in the shade... Hmm. Summer Cruise. And I'm going to keep that one. This is a copper, um, like, eyeshadow stick. I'm not sure if you can see that or not. It's very blinding. This is from Laura Mercier. Full size. I'm going to keep that. This Stila liquid um, eyeliner, and it's like a pink color. I'm going to get rid of that. Um, this is an e.l.f. What is this? Clear? What is this? Why uh, isn't it marked? I don't know what this e.l.f. thing is or where I got it. But I'm going to set that aside and look it up. Um, I've got my Milk by NYX, my Milk eyeshadow stick, jumbo eyeshadow pencil that I'm going to keep. These Milani jumbo eyeshadow pencils I'm going to keep. This Jelly Pong Pong one I think that I'm going to get rid of. It's just not a color that I really... Um, see myself wearing very often um, as like an eyeshadow base, so I'll get rid of that. This NYX Vivid Brights liquid liner, eh, probably not going to use that, so I'm going to get rid of that. This is by Clinique. Oops, sorry about that. This is by Clinique. Um, let me... That's a swatch of it. I have not tried that yet, so I'll keep that. I'm actually going to declutter the blue and the purple Milani shadow sticks because I haven't used those in forever. This is the eyebrow pencil that I'm using right now. It's the It Cosmetics Brow Power Universal Eyebrow Pencil. My Urban Decay pencils I'm going to keep for sure. I have four of them. Um... These Too Faced pencils I'm going to keep. Here's another Urban Decay pencil. This is a an Estee Edit double-ended eyeliner pencil that I'm going to keep. This NYX one I'm going to get rid of. Or not NYX, NYC. Um, it's really black and really creamy, but it's almost like too creamy because it's like melty. So I'm going to get rid of that. I'll keep the Drama Liquid Pencil from Lancome. I'll keep this brown one from Bare Minerals, this Thrive eyeliner, um, I'll keep that for now. I've got one from Bella Pierre, which I'm going to get rid of. This is a summer, I mean, Sephora pencil. Oh, this is the same one, Sephora Cruise. Not Sephora Cruise, Summer Cruise, Summer Pencil. Um, so I'll keep that. I love wearing that kind of eyeliner. This is Ico liquid eyeliner I'll get rid of. Um, this Marc Jacobs eyeliner I'll get rid of. I've got some Kat Von D ones. This NYX one is like brown and like sparkly, but I'm just going to get rid of that. Um, this Marc Jacobs one I'll get rid of. This Too Faced one I'll keep. Lord and Barry I'll get rid of. Then I've got some little ones in here, um, and a hair. This Makeup Forever one I'll keep. This one for Makeup Forever I'll get rid of. This Sephora one, I think I'll keep that. That's a pretty unique shade. Um, this Stila one I'll keep. This Tarte Clay Paint Liner I'm going to keep. And then these, um, this one's garbage. This one is garbage. And this one, I'll keep that one from Kat Von D. Okay, so, um, I don't know if you can see. These are the ones that I'm getting rid of. This is what I'm keeping, so here we go. Okay, so those are the ones I'm keeping, and 
these are all of the ones that I'm getting rid of okay and now we have got lip products so let's see um, I've got a couple of lip glosses from bare minerals that I'm going to keep for sure I love those this is a lip liner from bite a clear one that I'm gonna keep I have a clear one from urban decay that I'm gonna keep these wet and wild ones I absolutely love I'm keeping all of these I don't know if these are like these are the gel lip liners I don't know if they still have these or not I think I got all of these on clearance but I'm not a hundred percent sure on that um, this red lip liner from Smashbox I'm gonna keep this Becca double-ended lip liner I'm gonna keep this LA colors and this LA colors one um, I'm gonna declutter both of those I'll keep this Marc Jacobs one. I'll declutter this Barry M one. I got this when I was in London, but I'm never gonna wear that. Um, that was over two years ago. I've got, what do I have? This one from NYX. This is in the shade Never. Um, probably never gonna wear that shade. <laughs> so I'll declutter that one. This one from NYX is in the shade pink dolly and this is like a crazy pink color but I am going to keep that one I'm gonna keep this Laura Mercier one oh, whoops pressed a little hard there but that's like a beautiful nude shade this one from scone um it's like a berry I'm gonna get rid of that I've got a couple from Essence that I know I love. Just these three, I'm gonna keep those. This one, I don't even know what this is anymore and I'm gonna get rid of it because it's so old. I've got this one from Tarte and I'm gonna keep this because it's like a berry shade. This LA Colors one I'm gonna get rid of. Then I've got another Essence one here that I'm gonna keep and then this is, these two here are Milani and these two are Jordana. I'm going to keep the two Jordana ones. And then as far as the Milani ones go, I'm never going to wear that shade. So I'm going to get rid of that brown one. And then this one. Um, hmm. Let me swatch like this one next to it. Yeah, I'll get rid of that Milani one as well. Where did I put it? Um, here. Okay, so that was pretty quick. These are all the ones that I am getting rid of. Whoa, that one doesn't want to leave. And then we'll put these back. Does this barium one sneak back in there? Yeah, okay. So there we have it. Okay, now we have this box of stuff. This is mostly face palettes, mostly highlighter palettes, but I've got some blush and um, a couple contour palettes in here too. Um, so I'm pretty, I don't know, I'm just gonna go as I go. This is the Too Faced Little Black Book of Bronzers. I'm definitely keeping that. Um, this is a benefit, like, blush palette thing that I'm definitely keeping. That was like a holiday thing. This is a Sephora palette that I'm actually going to declutter. Definitely keeping my um, Ultimate Glow Kit. I've got the uh, Sun Dipped Glow Kit, the Gleam Glow Kit, the That Glow Glow Kit, the Moon Child Glow Kit. This is from Wet n Wild. This is the uh, Mega Glow Highlighting Palette and this is so beautiful so definitely keeping that. This is the Tardis Pro Glow palette. I recently got this, so I'm definitely keeping that. This is the Tarte blush palette from a few years ago for holiday. Love it, keeping it. Then I've got the Too Faced, ah, can I get this out? Love Flush blush palette, I love this thing too. Um, I've got my other two Jeffree Star highlighters in here. This is the Peach Glow palette, I love this from Too Faced. I absolutely love it. I have the um, Kat Von D Alchemist palette that I'm keeping, this Tartus Contour palette, this Tarte Cream blush palette, 
the selfie powders, this Becca palette, and the Shade and Light um, contour palette, which I have never used before. So I, I got that at Marshalls recently. So yeah, just getting rid of this, but I didn't think I was really going to get rid of anything from there. Okay, now this is the last place where I have any makeup. These are my eyeshadow palettes, and I did just recently get rid of a couple. As maybe you can see, there's some empty spots here, but um, let's see if there if there's anything. I've got my Jaclyn Hill palette that I am keeping, my Lorac Mega Pro 2. I've got the Shan XO, like the Remix. Um, whoops. What is this called? Just the Shan XO palette, the remix. It's eyeshadows on both sides. So I'm keeping all of those. Hmm, let me see if I can zoom you in a little more. Okay, so up here I've got my Naked palettes, my Too Faced Chocolate Bar palettes, plus the Sweet Peach, a couple more Too Faced, some Anastasia, a Sephora, this is the Cat's Pajamas, some from BH Cosmetics. This is like the Illuminate ones. This is the Balm Nude Tube Palette. I think I can get rid of this. Um, I don't really use this palette very often, so I'm going to declutter that one. I've got my Shade and Light, my 2 Jeffree Star. This is the Morphe um, Kathleen Lights one that I'm going to keep, and... The last one up here is the Nikki Tutorials um, Too Faced palette, so I'm going to keep all of those. Um, then I've got the Tarte Make Believe in Yourself palette. This is stunning. So beautiful. I've got the Urban Decay One Stefani palette that I'm going to keep. Um, this one back here, um, this is the Urban Decay Smoked palette and that is something that I think that I'm ready to let go of so I'm going to get rid of that one this is the Jeffree Star blood sugar palette um, the graveyard girl swamp queen graveyard girl swamp queen this is the Fenty Beauty holiday palette this urban decay on the run is great this tart is great um, there's no other ones on that shelf. This one I didn't get rid of in my last declutter, but I am going to get rid of it now because I haven't used it since then. Um, I've got the Alice Through the Looking Glass palette from Urban Decay. I've got this jumbo one from Sephora. This is called Color Wonderland, and it's freaking massive. I don't even think you can like tell how big it is, but it's huge and it's got a lot of different colors in it. So I'll keep that. Set these back in here. Then I've got this like Z palette type thing from Tarte with just a couple different um, eyeshadows in here. These are Anastasia ones, these are NARS, these are MAC, this is an Urban Decay, and this is like an Ofra blush or something like that, um, not really sure. And then I have the Vice 3 palette, which of course I'm keeping, I love that palette so much. And then my last couple of palettes that I have are the, over to the side over here, I've got the Morphe 350. Morphe 3502, and then this is a BH Cosmetics lip palette, so keeping all of that, so I'm getting rid of these three eyeshadow palettes, and that, it, that will conclude my um, makeup collection declutter. I hope you all enjoyed. I did just want to show you guys, so I have this Lululemon bag here, and it's like halfway filled up with all kinds of makeup. It just goes and goes and goes. Um, like, I can't even show you the bottom of the bag. Um, so, <laughs> yeah, this is all the makeup that I'm getting rid of from this declutter. It'll all be going 
to either a new home or the trash can if it's old. Um, I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Leave me video requests down below. Sorry if you can hear my dog Pepper barking. Um, I gotta go. I'll see you in the next one. Bye!